Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Data Communications and Networks. In today's class, we are going to learn about processes communicating. Okay. So how these process is communicating, actually how a device and a device or a host or a host will be communicating to each other using internet, we are going to see today. Okay. So let us consider two hosts. Okay. So the left side, what we have considered is an host A. This is one. On the right side, what we have considered is an another host B. Okay. So these hosts can be any two machines, PCs, laptops, or mobile phones like that. Okay. So what happens whenever a particular host tries to send a message or a data to the other host? How the process is going on? We are going to see now. Okay. So let us consider host is trying to send a message. It can be an email or it can be some sort of data in the form of message to host B. Okay. Now, what happens? So, as soon as you send a mail through that particular host A to host B, okay, there is some sort of uh, process going on. Okay. So, what is that process means? Processing is, is nothing but it's a part of execution of the program. Now, let us say you have used an app or an application for sending a message. Okay. So, as soon as you type some message and send the message to a host B, okay, the uh, software related or the application or the app, what we are calling it right now, is nothing but a software, right? Okay. Where <clears throat> this particular software is nothing but some set of programs. Each program will be having some set of instructions okay so whenever you are trying to send a message using an app or an application or through some particular software the instructions or the programs related to that particular software will be running at the background that is what we are calling it as process okay so let us say there are two apps in our phone for an example i'm taking uh, there are two apps in our phone okay so app one is let us say whatsapp and app B is, let us say, or app 2 is, let us say, Telegram, okay? So, right now, using a host A, which is nothing but our smartphone, we are using an app or an application called WhatsApp, and we are trying to send a message to host B, which is which can be an another smartphone, okay? User who is keep on chatting, okay? Now, what are the two softwares or the applications we are having? We are having one application called WhatsApp, and up another application called telegram right so right now which application we are using in order to send a message we are using a whatsapp application in order to send a message so all the programs or the set of instructions related to the whatsapp will be running in the process where processes can be considered as nothing but execution of that particular application or execution of that particular instructions or program or the software okay right now as we are using two apps one is like whatsapp and another one is like telegram okay each application will be having some sort of port let us say this is some port one and telegram let us say this is port two okay now each and every unique software application will be having its unique port it will be allotted some sort of unique port through which the communication will be done such that there won't be any kind of mismatch between the communication uh, transmission and reception of the system between the apps suppose you are chatting on a whatsapp application that whatsapp application is already uh, initiated with some sort of port number through that port number every conversation will be done suddenly whenever you are in chat you will be getting a mail from in some sort of email or gmail okay now that particular gmail which you are receiving will also have again an another port that means all the applications which are installed in the host will be having different different port numbers through which they are working or operating individually in order to transfer the data from one host to the another host okay now all this uh, process will be happening in the block called process where process is nothing but the execution of some set of applications, softwares or programs 
through which the whole process is done. Now, this particular pro process is connected to a socket. Okay. So, socket is nothing but we can consider it as a gateway. So, in order to send a message through internet from one host to another host, we need some sort of gateway, right? So, this particular socket over here will act as a gateway like an uh, uh, door to a house. So, whatever the host is there, consider it as a house and whatever the work going on in the house can be considered as a process and the socket in order to have an incoming as well as outgoing can be considered as our gateway. Okay. So, always every host will be having a common socket in order to transmit and receive the signal. Now, through this socket using a transmission control protocol or the transfer control protocol, so TCP, okay, uh, with the help of bus uh, buffer in order to combine several bits and to have a continuous smooth progress of the data, okay, using an internet and the TCP protocol, we are going to transfer that particular data. Okay. So, using this particular protocol with respect to the buffer, using an internet, the data will be transmitted to the host B. Okay. Suppose the host B want to again send a message to host A, same process is involved. Okay. So, a processing communicated or the processes communicated, communicating will be done between a multiple hosts where a uh, host means a machine is required and the process will be done like execution and a gateway is required considered as a socket with a protocol like TCP protocol with the buffer and using an internet we are able to transmit this particular data. Okay. Now, so as I have uh, said, let's uh, uh, make a small points. Host is a machine or a PC. Okay. And one more important point I forgot to mention here, every PC will be having its IP address, okay. So, based on the IP address only, uh, so from which host we have transmitted the message and to what host we are that particular message is received can be easily identified with the help of an IP address, okay. So, uh, where uh, I have already mentioned a process. Uh, it helps in execution of the program like uh, sending or transmission or reception of the messages through a network and uh, everything will be done through a gateway uh, called socket. Okay. So, a process is similar to a house. Okay. So, in which that particular gateway is similar to a door. Okay. Where process I have already said it's a small part of program or set of instructions which are running in that particular host. Okay. So, we can also say the program which is under execution can be considered as a process, okay. So on the whole, everything will be uh, considered as the processes communicating, okay.